<laughs> if I wanted to subject prisoners to my music, I would um, play a lot of Bjork. And then, <laughs> and then they would um, write in requests too. So my name is Sarah Pilchman and I'm a ceramicist um, or a potter. Right now I'm making tiny pots, so I'm making little miniature um, versions of full-size pottery. I've been doing pottery for my whole life, um, since I was about four years old. It was my first time on the pottery wheel. And um, I, it's just come back into my life over and over until 2016 is when I started my business. And it's grown and changed from dishware, um, barware, plates and planters to mostly tiny pots right now. I have this artistic theme of um, disgust, like the human body and, and putting disgust into this idea of a vessel, um, which is sort of a representative of the human form. There is something about ceramics that is so much about fight and about give and take and about mastering this medium, which is dirt, basically. And then as you grow with the clay, it starts to tell you something. Once you kind of attune yourself to it, it starts to tell you something. And then you can kind of speak back to it. So this is Angel's Gate Cultural Center. Um, it's old army barracks. You can see there are a bunch of different buildings that we have art spaces in. We've got 52, I believe, artists that have spaces all throughout. So we've got some like sculpture gardens as well. We'll pass that. But we have um, sweat lodges that still happen here. Every year we have something called Gathering of the Elders. And that's where we have um, the tribes and a lot of elders come and just share stories. They build an arbor overlooking the ocean. It's a really beautiful experience. So this is building F. Um, we have artists all throughout the space. So ceramics, ceramics and painting, more ceramics. And actually Lowell does a lot of, you can see, he does a lot of um, like Photoshop and digital art with trash, especially that he's picked up in the ocean. And then this is the classroom space where I work mostly. It's a little bit of a wreck. We've got a big donation. A lot of people donate um, materials to us. A lot of people uh, made porcelain dolls in the 50s and 60s. And so when they pass, we tend to get these doll materials. Basically, until I found Tiny Pots, like the whole goal was to to make this transcendent piece of art. I wish I could paint. I really wish I could do it and have something, like be able to take something I see and put it on paper. I can't do that with pottery either. I can't do figurative work at all. Um, there's just some disconnect in my mind that just doesn't allow me to do it. So yeah, I think because, because when you go to art class, the idea is to make art to make this big beautiful thing that is so moving you know you want your audience to be moved to tears in whatever way if i'm calling myself an artist i have sort of uh, an identity that i have to live up to i'm still a little uncomfortable calling myself an artist and i think that's just because i don't feel like in the, again in this body that i'm making anything necessarily transcendent Part of the future goal is to do that, and I have these things in mind. And I think if and when I can achieve that in whatever way, if I make successful artistic pottery, that's the vein I want to go down. But that's my artwork. And this feels more like my craft work, where I, this is more of a product that's about accessibility, that's not about some higher transcendent theme, that's just about joy. That's like a nice, fun thing that people can really like. And like that's, for a long time, being trained in, in Artland, it felt a little sell your soul-ish because it was like, you know, I'm not trying to be transcendent anymore. I'm not trying to, to find this platonic view of this ideal of beauty, right? I'm not trying to find this huge big picture thing. I'm just trying to make something nice. And so when I gave up a little bit that idea of making art, instead making money, <laughs> right? Then it feels, it's so easy to feel like a sellout. 
and I had for a long time. And I know that there are still people who do treat me like a sellout and kind of fuck it because there are thousands of people around the world now who have my product and are made happy by it. And it's like, well, fuck, I don't need my own ego to be stoked by being some big whatever idea of an artist. I can just make people happy and that's fine at least for now.